And then we saw Donald Trump, Chris, this morning saying, you know what? Banning TikTok all of a sudden is something he might be against, even though top Republican leadership here in Washington is seemingly for it. What's going on here? So <clears throat> when he was president, Trump tried to do a deal to force uh, the parent company, ByteDance, to sell TikTok. And he had yep. even <clears throat> arranged a buyer for it. It was going to go to Microsoft. I assume if Microsoft took over TikTok, he would always try to make you go into Microsoft Teams, and then it would crash. <laughs> but <clears throat> the, so Trump had this vision to do this deal, and he couldn't put it together. He couldn't bring it to fruition. Right. I assume this is one part sour grapes, doesn't want Biden to get credit for it. Uh, but another part that he pointed out, he really hates Meta. He really, <laughs> really, really hates Meta. And TikTok is uh, Meta's big competitor. How much? I mean, TikTok, it's, it's like half the country, 150 million plus. We don't have an exact It's the most number. popular website in the United States. There you go. And popular overwhelmingly among young people, Ashley. So, how much of this is, you know what? I can't alienate a massive voting base, voting block in an election year. Is there some of that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think last week when we were on, it was a shock that this bill came out of committee 50 to nothing, and then it was getting momentum. It's supposed to be on the House floor on Wednesday. But I think that this may um, cause a little bit of a pause. But I think there's other questions that we were talk talking about at the beginning of the segment um, before we got on, is that, is this bill actually even legal? I think there'll be a long time before we see this come to fruition, because there will be lawsuits. We talked about a First Amendment issue and taking away uh, platforms and opportunities for people to express them. Themselves. But I think it's interesting, once you get a divestiture and all the approvals are done... That's a you, sale. That's right? a sale. Yep. How do you implement divesting? That is, who puts together... Kevin O'Leary, maybe... We're going to talk to Kevin O'Leary here in about a minute. have competition on that also, because his competitors won't want him to just take advantage of it. It'll be interesting to see who puts together, what, $200, $300 billion to do that deal? We'll have to see. And will there be any foreign investors? Well, and they said um, the House Speaker was going to bring this up for a vote this week in the House. This could move pretty quickly, especially that it had such agreement, bipartisan agreement, which is rare in Congress, and likely to be supported in the Senate. This is a concern, national security concern. You're seeing more and more Democrats agreeing with Republicans that China is a threat. Uh, we saw President Biden saying that if it came to him, he would sign it. So this may move more quickly than we expect. But how many of those folks are on TikTok, using TikTok for political purposes but, and for no, entertainment? Biden, but yeah. this, is not, this is not banning TikTok like all the other bills did that right. were stopped. And also... <laughs> exactly. But I actually think that if I were ByteDance, I would just come up with some solution before <laughs> anything passes. Thank you for watching, and make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.